Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. This is Rocky. In this video, we will see how to import end screens from an existing video on YouTube. So basically how this works is we pick an existing video and we import the end screen elements onto a new video that we just uploaded. This serves just like an auto import functionality. Let's see how this works in real time. Let's get started. So go to youtube.com and then make sure that you log in into your YouTube account by clicking on the sign in button at the right hand side and once you are in just make sure that you click on the logo and click on the create a studio button and once you're on your dashboard click on video manager and then once the page loads pick the video in which you want to import the end screen I want to add the end screen for this new video that I just uploaded so let's go ahead and click the edit button click on the end screen and annotations tab and once the page loads click on this import from video button and in the screen that pops up select the video of your choice so that we can import the end screen from that video so for all these videos that you see I have some sort of end screen in place so I would like to import the end screen from this video so let's go ahead and click that and click the import button and as you can see right now on the screen it does not show anything except for just one video which is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen but if you'll take a look at this section over here that says elements you can see that there are four elements that are used and if you click on any of these elements it will show you the rest of the elements that were used in the other video but now they are imported to this video that you are trying to edit if you want to see how this works click on this toggle button here soon after you subscribe make sure you tap so as you can see it is indeed showing the four elements three videos and one logo which is exactly what I have on the right hand side so let me close the preview and as you can see I have my subscription logo to the right hand side and I have the best for viewer dynamic element which is right this one and the playlist working with YouTube is this one and the video how to add to end screen is this one so basically when I clicked import from video it just copied all these elements from the previous video that I imported to this video so basically the functionality is that you copy the end screen elements from one video to another that's what you do using this import from video button so if you would like to move things around you can do so you can just simply drag and drop things around whatever you feel like but if there is not enough space YouTube complains that you know you need to add some space between the elements so if you drag it like so you see that there is no more an issue with that because I have lost the formatting I want to delete all this stuff you can delete whichever you don't like you simply click on the element and you click the delete button on your keyboard let's say if you don't want the subscription do the same thing click on it and click the delete and likewise you can delete anything and let's try the import once again click the button and let's import from some other video let's select this one click on import if you would like to customize this video then you can just simply double click on this video it will pop up different options for you to select from and then you can select what to choose whether you want to show the most recent upload or best for viewer or whatever you like so in my case I'm gonna hit cancel because I'm satisfied with my selection but you can change it as you feel like it so yeah that's basically how you import end screen from other videos to your existing video that you are working upon once you are done with your changes just make sure that you always hit the save button because if you are not doing that you're going to lose your changes so let's go ahead and do that click on the save button and all the changes are saved now when your user watches this video till the very end he will get to see an end screen in this form so as you can see here 
All these elements will start appearing on the screen at the 7 minutes and the 57 second mark. So if you want to change this, you can do so by dragging your slider and then dragging the elements like so. And you can just match it up as per your liking. And then click the save button. So that's basically how you can import elements from other videos and you can edit them as you need. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment, share it on social media and subscribe to the channel. Soon after you subscribe, make sure you tap the bell icon located right next to the subscribe button to receive all future updates. Thanks for watching.